why the NBA sucks. Okay, I've always not liked the NBA. Um, I'm I've mostly not liking basketball. No, no particular reason. It's just never kind of really grown on me. But the NBA particularly re- does not sit well with me. Uh, some of you may know this, but I think they're 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 hypocritical in, in the sense in, in a lot of ways. And I think uh, they cater to China in a lot of in a lot of places that do very bad things. Meanwhile, um, they uh, ostracize and are very uh, woke, I guess you could say, in, in, in the United States. So I just kind of find this funny. Cause I just found this out today. That's uh, back in 2016, the United States NBA All-Star Game was supposed to be played in Charlotte, North Carolina. And back in 2016, there was a bill that got passed apparently in North Carolina that said that if you're, you know, you have male parts, you've got to go to a male bathroom. If you have female parts, you got to go to a female bathroom. Okay. And it was mostly passed that way because of like kids and stuff. You know what I mean? And parents and other people feeling uncomfortable. Whatever. It, it got passed in that state. Okay. And that's their right to pass that in the state, regardless of if you, you know, agree with that or not. You know, you can go to other places where they agree with you and you can live with those laws and those rules, and that's fine. Um, but the NBA pulled the All Star game from Charlotte, North Carolina, in protest of that bill. They pro, you know, because they thought it was discrimination towards the LGBTQ community. Meanwhile, fast forward four years later, the NBA is staged to set its uh, All Star game in the United Arab Emirates, where homosexuality is punishable by death. Does anybody else not see the hypocrisy in this? I mean, it seems a little crazy to me. I don't know. But yeah, we have we have uh, an organization who, when it comes to doings and dealings inside of their own country and with their, you know, arguably, I should say, their fans, as in uh, the ones local to the country that the, the, the organization is operated, operating in, they treat them a completely different way than... And, and here's the thing. I get it. They're, they're trying to make money, right? They're trying to cater to, um, to wherever they can, uh, to save face, right? They don't want to look like the bad person in any sort of way, but what happens is stuff like this, right? So that's what they're, what, and if I had to guess, they're trying to tap into a new market in, in the United Arab Emirates, just like they did in China and all these other horrible places. And, uh, it, then when it comes to places in their own country, they say, no, we're, we're not going to hold the all-star game in Charlotte, North Carolina, because we don't agree with the political bill that, you know, your, uh, your government just signed your local government or state government just signed, but we'll completely do a 180 and go over to the United Arab Emirates where homosexuality, open homosexuality will be punishable by death. I mean, like if they find out that you, you can get killed for it and we'll have no problem doing business there. Because at the end of the day, it's all just about money. They don't actually care about protesting any bill in Charlotte, North Carolina. It was never about that. Just about catering to whoever the loudest activist is in the moment. And this is why I don't like the NBA. Um, And a lot of big sports organizations are starting to act this way. And you see it a lot with the Black Lives Matter movement. A couple years ago, you saw it a lot where every sports organization started adopting the rhetoric regardless of if they actually agreed with it or not they just adopted the rhetoric why because they were catering to the loudest activists that's just that's just how it is nowadays and i have i have a weird problem with that i don't know what it is it really bugs me um but the nba is is one of the worst offenders when it comes to that especially with their dealings with the communist uh china and uh i just don't like it and lebron james yeah he's he's not I don't know, he annoys the shit out of me too I, I got you duke he annoys me too but yeah i just kind of thought that was funny um and uh yeah so let's see right here i just i have another article here and all these articles are linked in the description but it says the national basketball association on thursday dealt a blow to the economy and prestige of north carolina by pulling next february's all-star game from charlotte to protest a state law that eliminated anti-discrimination protections for lesbian gay bisexual and transgender people um it says uh 
prominent consequences since the law, which also bars transgender people from using bathrooms in public buildings that do not correspond with their birth gender, was passed in March. So basically, it was saying if you're in a public bathroom, you have to kind of go to the bathroom that your genitals match up to. Now, if you agree with that or not, that that's that's a debate and argument in itself and fine. But for the NBA, and this article was written, you know, back in 2016, but for the NBA to uh, to protest it, you know, but they won't protest the Uyghurs being killed in China or they won't protest how there's zero women rights in the United Arab Emirates or you can be killed for being a homosexual. Right. And one hand, you're for the LGBTQ whatever community. And on the other hand, you don't care at all. It's just uh, it questions. It bears question like your uh, morality as an organization. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of the NBA for a big reason. For that big reason.